Hey there, fellows. So this lovely car will be our guinea pig for this episode. And you might recall how we had fun with starter motors. I think we might have even made one from a lawn trimmer at some point. Anyway, so we have a car, an engine that starts really well. So let's make an inertia starter for it. Let's do this. We make a 60 kilo inertia starter for a car. Translation and voiceover by BMI Russian. Okay, check out what we got here. Here we have a couple of bearings in their respective housings. And this is the flywheel, which actually doesn't even weigh all that much, with it currently being empty inside. Some belts, pulleys, and the obligatory starter handle. Also, we have a supplementary one of the bent stick type. We've merely tacked all of it together as we've yet to dial it in. Okay, why don't we... Try and see if it even works in the first place. Go for it. <laughs> it doesn't... I mean, there is some inertia, but with it being so light on account of being empty, what do we need to do? For this to have inertia, we need to make it heavier. We need something that'll be hard as a rock in there. Oh, we can do that, sure. That was an easy one to solve. It only took three seconds. Okay, let's try this out. You see, at a certain moment, switch it off. The right cylinder ignites and all of a sudden it's running. Though I wouldn't say that this was effortless by any means. On the last one, yeah. What do you think we need to do? I think we should increase the revs. If at this rate it fires up, Inconsistently, if we increase the revs at least twofold, it'll be way more eager. We're looking at making a system of pulleys. In order to make this starter spin at twice the speed. Right, or maybe three? We won't have the strength to spin it. Right, let's increase the rotational speed twofold. That should make this way easier to start. Okay, let's see where we're at with this now. Check this out. We did nothing to the flywheel itself. We are still running a belt and a tensioner, which we've tightened a little bit. And here's the pulley system. The pulley on the shaft is a bit smaller, and that's the one we'll be spinning. The reduction should increase the rotational speed. Here we have a brake. That's for when the car is running. The belt, of course, does slip, but it is still propelling the flywheel. And with it being unbalanced, we could see a situation where stuff starts to fall apart because of the vibration, which we'd prefer to avoid. And so we've improvised a brake system. Though when we did try using it, 
Unfortunately, the plastic pad broke. Screw it, I guess. Metal-on-metal -metal contact should make for the right effect anyway. Okay, let's try this out. Here I've got my starter handle. And let's give this a try. Let's try starting the engine using an inertia system. Okay, here we go. Almost. That almost worked. I missed when it fired. Okay, well... Hooray! Let me stop this. And fix it in place. Excellent. Listen to it purr. We were able to start it after all. Let's disconnect the starter motor and pay the repair shop a visit. See what the mechanics have to say about this. Fire it up and let's go. Oh, look at you go. Stuff falling out of your pockets. Excellent. Time to stop it. I gotta be quick. Excellent, let's head out. What up? Wrecking another Lada, are you, Vlad? Oh no, if anything, I'm improving it. Anyway, my starter motor doesn't work for some reason. I turn the key and nothing happens. Oh, come on, that's just not fair. Oh, so I guessed right. I don't know, I thought I'd try... ...getting this past you without you noticing. That flywheel is bigger than your car. You want me to... No, I'm scared. Don't be. You're not gonna tear anything off. Give me a second. Yeah, that definitely has to be undone. What? It's fine. That's our new method. And I'm told it's more effective somehow. With enough speed, you don't even have to start the engine. You might be right. Tell me when, Nikolai. We doing this? It's hot. And a hot engine isn't as eager to start. Pour some water in? Uh, in what? The engine. We already have. We've got that covered. It didn't even get that hot on the way here. I mean, it's warm. The next expert has stepped up. Indeed he has. We actually tried... And you came here to test us. Well, yeah, that was the idea. That too. It's gotten hot. Wait a second. You have coffee? Sure. Let's go have some coffee. <laughs> Uncle Victor? Come have a look at this. See how these guys torture machines. They're using a flywheel to start the engine. That should work. If you'd have used one that's even bigger, we were afraid it might come flying off. Nah, it looks fairly reliable. Let me show you the key element. That this isn't gonna work without. Show us how the old guard does it. What do you mean, take it easy? It's not gonna work if I take it easy. We'll be fine. Easy does it. I'm in no rush. 
like a veteran. <laughs> what? GM Siberium. This ain't no GM, it's a lot of them. Eh, close enough. <laughs> Let go of the handle. It's not time yet. Oh, really? Yo, Sergey. Tell the man when to... Let go. So close. Who's up next? I think we broke the pulley. Okay, guys, well, here's what happened. I mean, at the end of the day, we rolled into a shop and we experienced a slight issue. The pulley that we were running on the inertia starter... The welds let go, unfortunately. And that tells us that this enormous flywheel has a lot of inertia. I mean, if we're seeing welds crumble and shafts snapping... Who would have even thought? But then how could they hold up if... I mean, this isn't particularly thick, but it is of pretty large diameter. And so the total weight of this dumbbell filled with clay is a good 60 kilos. You can spin it up to about 300 RPM by hand, and at that point when you create tension and the engine doesn't start, well, this comes to a stop pretty rapidly. And in that moment, those parts are under a lot of stress. Like I said, the welds fell apart, the shaft is broken. This is nasty. But at the end of the day, we have gotten this inertia starter to work. The engine started, and actually quite well at that. You saw it all for yourselves. Overall, everything worked out great. We did have to discard the radiator, but then this wasn't meant for long trips. We just wanted to test the concept. And the concept works. And that's all I got for you. Watch us, subscribe, send in your suggestions, comment, give us a big thumbs up. All right, catch you later.